The gender binary is an example of structural oppression. And when you can understand gender as a social construct, it's a lot easier to understand how our culture can be oppressive to people who experience gender differently than man or woman. Because man and woman are words that we invented as a culture to describe certain phenomena, and they don't describe all of the possible options. So when one of those doesn't fit you, it's not because you're weird. It's because socially we've constructed a system that doesn't work. A system that doesn't describe the experiences of all of the people in our culture. Mm -hmm. No, the gender binary is a recognition of, um, of what of sex as of being a bimodal sex sexual reproducing species this doesn't mean that intersex people don't exist or that trans people who experience themselves as being the opposite gender to what their body says they are aren't actually experiencing a genuine um a thing we don't entirely know what trans identity is yet but science is beginning to tell us it's beginning to find things in pheromones in genes in brains which tell us that trans people are experiencing something that affects their their gender and i think we need to be supportive of them without ideologizing it